we was brought over here, bro. They they dehumanized the black man to the core. And if we can go deeper than the core, they really, you talking about ripping my wife in front of me? You know what I'm saying? Making me watch and I'm helpless and separating me from my wife and my kids. We not even having a conversation after that the happened. Energy. Uh, black boy, tell me how you really feel. I just want to build with you. All right, so boom. In my in my in my conversations with women, I've been trying to express to them, and maybe you can do a better job than I can. But I've been trying to express to them the fact that for men as a group, as a species, boys as a group, as a species, one of the most powerful motivating forces is whatever the female delegation is looking for, right? So for instance, one of my homeboys, he was like, um, a couple of years ago, women said they want their men bearded. Now we all out here struggling, trying to grow beards, raise bumps, the whole nine, right? And similarly, you know, the archetype of man that women are celebrating, whether like literally celebrating or just celebrating with their sexual attention is the type of archetype of men that we see more of. So talk, talk to the women about the power that they have, you know, past just motherhood, because obviously that's the thing, but the power that the female delegation has in shaping, in shaping the boys the and the men that we see. Bro, God is a woman. Um, and, and people be mad at me when I say that. But I know you said off of producing, you know, life, but one, let's start there. Women are the only people that can give life and sustain life. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We can't. But first of all, women also have, I'm glad how you prefaced it before, but women also have something that we also love um, that, you know what I'm saying, that I guess symbolizes the earth and the roots as well, um, that has a lot of power. Um, and so uh, a woman can can dictate you know, the actions of a man um, based off her control and, and the power that she holds. Um, and I feel like a lot of time we see women give up that power so easily to men. And what do men do? We feel like we run stuff in real life, which we technically don't. If we if we if you got a real woman that, you know what I'm saying, set the standard, you know, of course, we, we can get into the whole submissive piece and all that, but if you got a woman who really knows who she is, she gonna one protect that power, and she also not gonna let you abuse it because how how us dudes, you 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 let us feel ourselves a little bit, you know what I'm saying? We gonna run with it, you know what I'm saying? And, and dudes abuse that power. Um, how, how how people choose to live, that's on them, you know what I'm saying? Their life ain't for me, you know what I'm saying? No more. I'm not gonna say I never was in a position abusing that power that women gave me, but I do believe women set the standard. Um, and, and, and women really have to understand what they want. That's what I'm saying back to this whole mentoring piece that women got to understand what they want and, and the dude going to fall in line. Um, if, if that's what he want, if, if, if he wants to rise to that standard, he going to fall in line. So, so if you, if you had a Thanos glove and you could mm -hmm. snap your finger and, and it would change the, the culture of women, number one, what would change? And number two, what do you think the effect would be? with the boys? I think it starts with men. Um, people always talk about how women are trying to be men and, and taking over roles. Uh, women get shit done. Um, if So if a man does not step up and do what he needs to do as a man, it's like innate in a woman to, it's like, I don't know if you ever seen a female protecting her cubs. They go automatically in protect mode and I'm not asking a nigga for nothing. I'm about to go get it myself. And it's like, you really can't fault women for taking on them roles when we haven't stepped up as men, you know what I'm saying? And really been men. And, and that's that's historically, like I said, when we was brought over here, bro, they, they dehumanized the black man to the core. And if we can go deeper than the core, they really, you talking about and my wife in front of me, you know what I'm saying? Making me watch and I'm helpless 
and separating me from my wife and my kids. We not even having a conversation after that happened. You know what I'm saying? And then beating me in front of my friend. But it goes deep. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, so yes, there's reasons why men, you know, do not take their rightful place in society. Um, but I do believe when men take their rightful place, uh, I hate to say rightful place, um, but when when, we, when men play their roles, and I think women automatically, you know what I'm saying? When we was talking about women being submissive earlier, uh, I look at that completely different because like my wife, because I do I, I do what I do as a man, like it's, a, it's an honor. It's an honor for me to serve her. Um, but it's an honor for her to serve me. Like, it, because I'm in the right position, she automatically is able to bask in her, her her femininity, if that's a word, you know what I'm saying? Because I took my wife a place and taking the load off her, she can just be a woman, you know what I'm saying? And I think we sometimes we rob women of that opportunity just to be women. Um, because we niggas. Um, Wait, let, let me let me. I'm gonna push back a little bit. Go ahead, please. So so you know, I saw a, I saw a post. Uh, I think it was on Instagram or something, and it said um, it was something along the lines of you know when when I find uh, a soft feminine woman, then I'll stop being a bitch ass nigga, right? Uh, and, okay, <laughs> but but it was it was it was uh, it was. Uh, it was uh, it was being sarcastic, right? Yeah. Because you'll hear women, for instance, say, "When I find a good man, then mm -hmm. I'll start being feminine," yeah. right? As if their femininity is conditional based on the type of man the that they find. But what you see happen, and and this is the part that I'm the most fascinated with, is what you're describing: the type of man who takes the load off a woman's, you know, back, and the type of man who. Even through the way that he's organized his own life, you look around his place, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You look at how white people even talk to him. This yeah. is a man of, you know, stature, stature yeah. caliber, right? And he still don't get it. What you mean he still don't get it? He still don't get the softness. Okay. And, and I'm not just talking about um, from his woman. I'm talking about from our culture of women. I'm mm -hmm. talking about from... Uh, the the lady who who checked him out at the grocery store. I'm talking about the hotel clerk. I'm mm -hmm. talking like there's this like veneer of nigga you ain't shit until you prove otherwise. And even after you prove otherwise, you still who you think you are, right? Yeah. So how can you help those men understand what's going on? Man, if it's I, not something that they have failed to do, listen, and that's why you got to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I told you 2020 helped me understand that I'm putting energy and stuff that really don't matter. You know what I'm saying? And so, man, you always going to have women. I don't experience women like that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm a pretty decent dude, but it was still levels to them that just wasn't good enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, little stuff, too. And it's like, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, we out. And, and, and it's being able to, as a man... Because I feel like a lot of times men, like you said, women do set the standard, like the whole beard thing. You know, going to get a beard, going to get a dress. If you're constantly conforming, you're not staying true to, to you. yourself. Right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. And so it, you got to be okay with who you are as a, as a man to not let, you know what I'm saying? You, you, I said women set the standard, but you set your own standard too. You know what I'm saying? As a man and, and what you allow. Um, and, and if you allow the, the shawty at the, uh, at, the, at the grocery line or whatever to, to let her energy rub off on you, you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Um, but at, at the same time, man, we, we hold it. And when we true to, when we stay true to who we are, man, you're you going to have women out here that hate. You're going to have women out here that it's still not good enough. And that's that's some therapy set, couch sessions they need on their own. Like what? Why? What am I? What am I blocking out? You know what I'm saying? Why am I shielding this man? What issues have I had? You know, with experiences with men that's making me not accept the love from this man. Um, and we talk about women. I hate to call it softness. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not really soft. Um, and, and just look, seeing my wife birth a child, like just seeing how my wife is really holding down the crib. It's like it's not. It's nothing soft about it. You know what I'm saying? Just like our, our and, and our and our masculinity, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's nothing soft, and just like within there, it's, it's not soft. It's just it's, it's ability to receive love, um, and also to give it. And I feel like it's a much deeper conversation when we get to that point where we're 
shielding up everything my my brother who's taking care of business what you're supposed to be looking for like why am i not like what's the disconnect 